A wrongful death lawsuit is in the works on behalf of the woman fatally shot by a Border Patrol agent last Friday in Chula Vista. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina shows us why the family of Munique Tachikin is calling for both justice and answers. Flowers, candles, and balloons in tribute to Monique Tachikin, who died in the street when a Border Patrol agent emptied his pistol through the windshield of her car. Agents had gone to a nearby apartment looking for a fugitive. As she left, the agent in this photo with a red shirt and gun in hand wound up on the hood of her car. A moment later, she was dead. Monique was on probation for a drug offense from last year. Information her father calls a slap in the face. They're dragging the memory, the name of my daughter. They're making her look like she is guilty for being there. And it just broke our hearts. Nothing matters but the facts. And that's all we want to know. Please. The family hired an attorney to sue the Border Patrol. He said the facts are murky. Witnesses saw it differently. He jumped on the hood. He was standing there, fired, boom, and he started walking, boom, 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 boom. With the car backing away and the officer not standing still but going forward and shooting, would he have been doing that because he was in fear of death or serious bodily injury or because we had cowboy tactics? The family is struggling. I'm just really glad that my daughter was married to Gilbert. <laughs> because he always treated with respect. Respect shown, too, by this roadside shrine. Steve Fiorino, 10 News. A claim against the federal government will soon be filed. The lawsuit could be filed six months after that. There is no word on damages being sought.